beautiful day at the end of July 2012. Uh, the weather in Bordeaux has been difficult in June and most of July, so most winemakers and vintners are really hoping that August will be nice. Uh, they had a difficult flowering season, some uneven uh, ripening uh, so far, but uh, this is really the moment when the weather should, should cooperate, the month of August. Um, 2012. I'm actually at Chateau Bailly. I'm staying here for a couple nights uh, to see how the vineyards, how, how the things are going, and tasting some wines. And uh, this is my room. So here we have some lovely roses. The roses actually were once planted because they served a practical function. The roses in a vineyard would actually get mildew or detect a mildew sickness before the vines. So viticulturalists and vintners would actually be able to tell if there was a threat to the vines. But now there's other methods and the roses are still planted just out of tradition. Here we have some of the grapes at Opaï and we can see that there is the Verraison. Uh, some of the grapes are starting to change color. So I'm here at Chateau Opaï, which is a marvelous chateau of the Pessac Léognon appellation. We're in Léognon, which is south of Pessac. Um, what's so wonderful about this chateau, among other things, is that since the 17th century it hasn't changed. It's 30 hectares of vines. There's a rich history. Um, Veronique Sanders is the current manager. Her father was the owner, um, and now it's owned by Robert Wilmers, an American uh, in New York. Um, and we're trying the 2008 Opaï, which is a very successful 2008. Uh, there's a real maturity and richness to this fruit, um, a ripeness. Uh, I get a, even a cool aspect of blueberry, but you also have hints of tobacco just starting to come up. There's a bit of white peppery spice. Uh, there's some plummy fruit. There's 30% Merlot, but it's mostly Cabernet Sauvignon. It's 70% Cabernet Sauvignon coming from uh, the three hectares, especially of the old vine vineyard, which was right next to the chateau. Um, it's a beautiful geographical location, excellent terroir for the Cabernet and for the Merlot, but we're really having a good time with the 2008. It's still too young, but it's just such polished elegance on the nose, and it just needs a little more time in the bottle for you to fully enjoy it. In the meantime, Le Pardot Bailly is drinking very well, the second one.